Hello and welcome to Cosmetics Business in conversation with Arthur Edward Recruitment. My name is Julia Ray. I'm technical editor at Cosmetics Business and I'm joined today by Arthur Edward founder Heidi Bannister and her colleague Anna Philippa Collado. So thank you both so much for taking the time to speak with me today. To begin, could you maybe tell our listeners a bit about yourselves and about Arthur Edward? Uh, Heidi, maybe if we start with you. Morning, Julia, and thank you so much for inviting us on. So yes, I'm Heidi Bannister. I'm founder and managing director of Arthur Edward. My early career was spent in the cosmetics industry, in product development, sales and marketing, working for contract manufacturers and brands. And I also did a bit of recruitment, but my real passion is the cosmetics industry. So I decided to join the two together and build Arthur Edward. Fantastic. And um, Anna? I am Anna Filippa Calado, Recruitment Director at Arthur Edwards. I started my career as a pharmacist in a luxury Lisbon pharmacy, dispensing medications and working closely with some leading cosmetic and personal care brands. And I joined Arthur Edwards in 2015. I oversee all the assignments at Arthur Edwards, working closely with the team, the clients and the individuals we help. And yes, you can call me Anna, Anna Filippa or Philly. <laughs> okay, lovely. I'll probably stick with Philly then. Um, well, I believe that 2020 uh, might be a big milestone for Arthur Edward, am I correct? Yes, it is. Um, well done for noticing that. But yeah, we've just celebrated our 18th birthday and it's been such an incredible journey. We've helped so many amazing people have great careers and work with some really fascinating businesses from startups to multinational brands. And it's great because we've been a part of their journey where they've built their teams and launched new products. And it's really great to celebrate the success with them. Absolutely. And, and are you planning any celebrations? Well, we do have a bit of a reputation for drinking champagne and eating cupcakes. And uh, there's a lot of that going on, I can <laughs> tell you. Lovely. You can never go wrong with cupcakes. Um, but yeah. obviously, I, I'm not here to interview you guys about party planning. Uh, I'm here to find out a, a bit more about beauty recruitment. And I imagine that a lot of our listeners, be they a brand or a retailer on the supply side, have at some stage just hired the wrong person for the job. So what I imagine they'd want to know is how can a recruitment agency and importantly the right recruitment agency help them to avoid this? Well, um, recruitment agency adds a different dimension, a sounding board and a quality check to the process and they can help you find people who are not actively looking and they should have a database full of talent. They should also help you avoid recruiting the wrong person and save you thousands of pounds, as well as the damaged reputation, uncertainty and bad feeling within a team if someone comes and goes quickly. Um, I'm well aware that some agencies don't have the best reputation and quite frankly, they deserve it. If all they see is filling holes and making commission, um, our bread with our different, we help you build a strong, diverse team. That's right. In fact, we actually consider ourselves consultants to the industry, not recruiters. We only partner with cosmetic and personal care companies because it's what we're passionate about. We take the time to build really long term relationships, getting to know a company, their brands, their values, their visions and their goals. And what we find is many hiring managers only recruit from time to time and they often struggle to compare talent or even ask the right questions to check on the ability the ambition the hard and soft skills and they know that some companies are outperform outperforming them and they want to grow their teams they just don't know where to find the talent but we meet candidates so many times and we're doing this day in day out this is our day job and we spend every day recruiting so the candidates trust us they're not coming to talk about just one role but lots of different roles so they take the time to really make sure we get to know them and not just what they want from their career but their outside life their family and their other interests as well we smooth out the process, making sure everyone has a great experience with your company and your brand. We can help with succession planning and retention, as well as manage expectations, internal processes and timelines. And we are constantly networking within the industry, attending industry events, conferences, exhibitions, 
Many of the team are members of the SCS and the BSP, and we are always searching out and monitoring talent, screening CVs, are having initial candidate interactions and contact, and we provide a caring personal service. Fantastic. So um, what kind of roles within the beauty industry does Arthur Edward find candidates for? You know, are we talking all the way to the top, uh, the boardroom even? That, that's right. Arthur Edward recruits from concept to shelf. So we help chemical and packaging companies, manufacturers, brands, distributors and retailers. And we cover all the roles from R&D, technical regulations, operations, supply chain, sales, marketing, MPD, right the way through to things like HR, finance directors and general management. We've always recruited senior leadership roles and it's not something that we've really shouted about because often these roles won't be advertised because it's all a bit hush hush, um, even on cosmetics business. Um, but great candidates and leaders in particular are not often looking for a career change or responding to adverts these relationships have to be nurtured over time and these people are not easy to find. We work internationally and we're always watching for potential leadership talent. We're looking at not just what they're doing and how they're progressing in their careers, but also salaries and benefits to make sure that we can really attract the top talent for the top team. And how about junior or even entry level jobs? Because you know, I think we can all remember how hard it is starting out in an industry with this you know, skinny little CV. And is it possible to match the right young talent with the right companies in a way that benefits both parties? That's great that you asked, Julia, because um, in actual fact, we are currently developing a rising talent program. We have always had close links with a number of universities and we go in to lecture to students about career options and help them with CV and interview advice, as well as attending career fairs. And we get asked time and time again to help graduates and interns. Uh, we see this as a key thing for the industry and we love to see these students progress in their careers and help them with that. And it's also an amazing opportunity for a company to find someone who can add real value in the long term. In fact, we're currently looking for companies to join this Rising Talent program. Fantastic. I love the call to action there. And so how has um, your work at Arthur Edward had to change or adapt uh, recently in response to this kind of reduction in face to face interaction? We've not really changed that much because we've been using telephone and online interviews for many years. We recruit internationally and it wasn't really ever feasible to fly to somewhere like Sydney or Singapore just for an interview. So we're quite used to this technology and we've been early adopters. What we found is a lot of companies were really unsure and they didn't feel that they would get to know someone well enough without that face to face interaction or showing someone around the office. and. What we did is we helped them and we helped coach them. And we found that actually during this tough times, everyone that's been interviewed and onboarded with the company, all the companies we've helped, they've had great success. Fantastic. And do you think that more companies within the beauty industry will have to be likewise adaptable going forward? So, uh, for example, flexi time, are our candidates seeing this as something that's non-negotiable now, for example? Absolutely. We find that companies that offer even just a little bit of flexibility always have the biggest pool of talent to recruit from. Um, just to give you an idea of how important this is, in our 2019 salary survey, flexible working topped the list of desired benefits. And in our most recent working through COVID-19 survey, 60% of the respondents were working from home and over 90% of them wanted to keep doing so at least some of the time. And so really, I always advise companies to offer some sort of flexibility, be that in terms of hours or location. And the other thing as well, to look into the new immigration laws as we are having a lot of success moving international talent around the world. Okay. Super. So finally, to round up, because we like to end our in conversation with videos on an upbeat note, and I think an 18th birthday party is the most upbeat possible event. I was wondering if you had any professional highlights you could share with us from the 18 years of Arthur Edward. Oh, wow, there have been so many. Um, honestly, every single candidate and client is special to us. Um, we get some great feedback. 
and most of our roles come from a recommendation and I'm really proud of that and we're still working today with companies that we helped literally in year one and I guess we've just met so many amazing people we've made great friends we've watched some brands develop and sell and literally seen people start at the junior role and work their way all the way up to MD or CEO and I just love that. Super that's got to be really gratifying so Thank you so much, Heidi and Philly, for giving us a, a bit welcome. of insight there. Thank you. Lovely. Um, that was Cosmetics Business in conversation with Heidi Bannister and Philly Collado from Arthur Edward Recruitment. If you'd like to discover more interviews with companies like Arthur Edward from across the beauty industry, head to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe or visit cosmeticsbusiness.com.